millions of people in the U.S. alone have gone missing, gone without a trace. Most of them are melanated people. Have you ever wondered why? And not only that, it has reached into the international market as well of people being gone missing. Many of you are unaware of the fact that that's one of the reasons why Putin went over there and waged war with Ukraine because it was the sex trafficking, human trafficking capital of the world. Unfortunately, many of the crimes that were being done over there in Ukraine started to reach into the borders of Russia. So Putin felt as though he had to act. And that is where people from the United States and all over the world went to do the things that they do. As of 2021, close to 522,000 people in the United States were reported missing. Nearly 40% of the missing persons were people of color, yet we make up 13% of the population. Do you not find that to be odd? Over half a million people were reported missing in 2021. More than 70,000 of those people that were missing were melanated girls. Why is this? All age groups are included in that, including children. But from 18 to 20, about 23%. 21 to 30, about 24%. 31 to 40, 22%. 41 to 50, 14%. And 50 and above, 18%. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I think it is. It's because they want our melanin, honey. Yes, melanin is worth $500 a gram. And when compared to gold, gold is worth only 63 almost $64 a gram. Now look at the places where melanated people are missing from. There's a high concentration of melanated people living in these areas. And not only that, look at the cities where the melanated people are missing from. High concentration of melanated people there as well in these places. Besides melanin, what else do these body snatchers possibly want? Well, think about this. The men who are now wanting to be women, the transgender community, they want to have children. And they have actually been doing uterine implantation on these transgender people. And research on uterus transplantation in men has shown that inside of men's stomachs, there is enough space for a uterus transplant in order for them to carry a child. Mm. Welcome to America, the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon all in one. Kidnappings in Haiti has gone up over 300%. Suck passe. And not only in Haiti, but also in Nigeria, believe it or not. It says that China is the capital of organ harvesting of the world. And in Iran, there's a huge black market for harvesting organs. We know for sure that this was headed by an international organ trafficking cartel. They funded the National Assembly. Uh, of some people estimate to the tune of 6.2 billion U.S. dollars. Uh, they also bought all the Nigerian government, federal government hospitals at the cost of 3.2 billion U.S. dollars. They even offered to buy all the Catholic hospitals uh, for $2 billion, but the, the, the bishops refused that. So this is a well-organized cartel who are actually moving into Nigeria in order to actually buy up, or they have already paid an advance on all our organs. Anybody in the Federal Republic of Nigeria has no entitlement to their organs as it stands today with the law. And we know this for sure, that these are billionaires from the United States who funded this organ trafficking cartel to take the organs of Nigeria. Africans, particularly in West Africa, are especially vulnerable. They want your children. So watch your children as they play. Play outside with them or keep them indoors. These are the top four of the top 10 organ trafficking countries. And Haiti and Africa are not too far behind. Melanated Americans, I urge you to not be an organ donor. Do not have that displayed on your driver's license or ID because you are setting yourself up to be kidnapped. You are asking them to kidnap you if you do this. Now, 
understand that regardless of whether you consent to it or not, if they want you and they want your organs or whatever body parts you have, they're going to take them anyway. I'm sure that many of you remember the story about Kendrick Johnson, who was an athlete and he was healthy. Nothing wrong with him. Take a listen. In June, Kendrick's body was sent to Florida. The Johnsons hired Dr. Bill Anderson to conduct an independent second autopsy. But what Dr. Anderson did not find shocked them. When we got the body uh, for the second autopsy, that organs, the heart, lungs, liver, etc., were not with the body. The brain? The brain. They were all absent. Every organ from the top of Kendrick's head to his pelvis, gone. And his family had no idea. Christianity teaches that bad people are going to hell. But I have news for you. We are already in hell. So buckle up. Be safe, everyone.